you decide to begin selling caramel apples at a local park. Your cost for each caramel apple is $1.35, plus you have to pay a fixed weekly fee of $180 for the booth. Your plan is to sell each caramel apple for $3.13. We're first asked to find the cost, revenue, and profit functions as functions of n, where n is the number of caramel apples that you sell per week. And then we're asked a question about the break-even point. Notice how the cost has two components. Each apple costs $1.35. There's also a weekly fee of $180 for the booth. So there are two components to the cost, the variable cost, the cost of the apples, and the fixed cost, the cost of the booth. So the cost function C of n equals $1.35 times the number of apples, which is n, plus the flat rate of $180. So this would be the cost function C of n. Next, we want to find the revenue function, again, where n is the number of apples sold per week. We'll notice how the plan is to sell the apples for $3.13 each. So each apple generates $3.13 worth of revenue, and therefore the revenue function R of n equals 3.13 times n. And now to find the profit function P of n, profit P of n is equal to the revenue function R of n minus the cost function C of n. So the money coming in minus the money going out equals the profit. So in this case we would have the revenue function 3.13 minus the cost function, which is 1.35n plus 180. We do need the parentheses here to make sure we subtract the entire cost function. So now we would combine like terms. We would distribute a negative one here to clear the parentheses. So we'd have 3.13n minus 1.35n minus 180. So combining like terms, our profit function is 1.78n minus 180. So again, 1.78n minus 180 is our profit function, P of n. Now the next question asks, how many caramel apples must you sell in order to make a positive profit? Write your answer as a whole number. So what this is asking for is what's the smallest number of apples we have to sell in order to make the smallest possible positive profit. So what we'll do is we'll find the value of n where we have zero profit, which is called the break-even point, and then we'll have to round that value up to find the smallest positive profit. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So here are the three functions that we just found. Because we have the cost, revenue, and profit functions, we have a choice on which way to find the break-even point. The break-even point is when the profit equals zero, which is also when the revenue equals the cost. Because we just found the profit function, let's set the profit equal to zero and solve for n. So if we set the profit equal to zero, we want to solve the equation zero equals 1.78n minus 180. Let's go ahead and add 180 to both sides, which would give us 180 equals 1.78n. And that is all friend, we would divide both sides by 1.78. So we have n equals this quotient, which we'll find on the calculator, 180 divided by 1.78 is approximately 101 point, let's say, 1.2. But of course we can't sell a fraction of an apple, and because we're looking for the smallest positive profit, we'll run this up to the next integer, so we'll actually use n equals 102 to answer our question. So again, going back to our question, how many caramel apples must you sell in order to make a positive profit? You'd have to sell 102. If you sold 101, that'd be below the break-even point, and there'd be a loss. So the final question is to complete the sentence. In order to make a profit, 
I have to sell a minimum of 102 caramel apples. I hope you found this helpful.